Rama and his team are still dubious that Daniel reacts emotionally to certain numbers. I was a little bit mean, and I played a trick on Daniel. He, he said he loved pie because it was beautiful. It was just this wonderful, special shape. Well, if it's so beautiful for him, and he normally gets this wonderful, warm reaction from Pi, I thought that I would show him something that initially would look like Pi on the surface, 3.14, and tweak it a little bit. Throw in numbers like six, which he doesn't like. The small electrodes attached to Daniel's fingers are like a lie detector. They'll measure any emotional response, good or bad. So if Daniel is shown a number that he really loves, there should be a clear-cut signal. So sure enough, I showed him this bastardized version of Pi, and we saw this very nice, you know, warm galvanic skin response, and then all, and it, it jumped up, and then all of a sudden it jumped again, and as he was scanning it, we kept getting another jolt, and another jolt, and another jolt, and it, it, it wouldn't stop. And afterwards, I was asking him, well, what's going on in your head when you were seeing that? And he said, well, you know, here's this beautiful number pi that I love, and I see it, and then as I'm looking at the landscape, all of a sudden there's a pit where it's not supposed to be. And, you know, this mountain is missing, and, and it's really, it, it's wrong. And how could you do that to something so beautiful? And, and, you know, while it was a little bit mean to do that to him, it really shows the point that he does have some sense of emotion associated with these numbers because the, the skin response was off the charts. It was something you, you just can't fake. These are the things specifically that are showing me he's not scamming. Even the mistakes that Daniel is making are the mistakes that tell me, you know what, this, this, is, this is legit. A faker wouldn't be doing this. So if Daniel is for real, how is he able to do such huge calculations without any conscious effort? When you did this computation in your head, what exactly was going on in your head? What were you doing? I see an image in my head, and that image starts to change. It starts to almost like evolve. It's quite vague at first. As I'm looking at it, it becomes clearer and clearer over a time, and then from, from that landscape, I can read the digits out. So it sort of gradually crystallizes? Yes. In a multiplication, the two numbers hover before him as distinct shapes. The gap in between makes a third shape, which Daniel experiences as a new number, the correct answer. He's doing math, but he doesn't even know it. When it comes to numbers, it seems that Daniel's brain really is doing something extraordinary. I'm blown away. Something the scientists can't yet get a handle on. This could be the linchpin that spawns off a new field of research.